Okay. <laughs> You're like wondering what is she doing? Why wasn't she um for four days? Well, just to be honest, I didn't have any motivation. I was lazy. And that's why I'm called butt lazy. Because <laughs> I'm actually lazy. I just love craft so much. That's why I'm so lazy craft. Well, <clears throat> as you saw in the thumbnail, I had bought three notebooks. I did check though, they're the same on the inside. They were those so cute, I could not decide which one to get. So I got all three of them. There was a fourth one, but I didn't like that one because it was black and on the cover it just said be happy, so I was like, nah. So this one says my organized chaos. And then. It says on the front, let me close that you like that. Shula Kalenda, which is um student calendar, like student's calendar. September ha September 2019 till to uh, September 2020. So the first page we have it says mine calendar, which means my calendar. Uh, then it says my name, which is my name. So, mein Name. Uh, meine Adresse. Yes, in German you have this where you have to acknowledge if it's female or male. So, you put an E so, um, sometimes. Most of the times when there is, when it's a female thing. So, meine Adresse means my address. Then, then, no, we started to speak German. <laughs> then we have meine Telefonnummer, which means my phone number, or telephone number. Uh, then, meine E-Mail, my email. Mein Geburtsdatum, which is basically translated to my birth date but I think in English you would just say my birthday uh, Sonstiges which is extras basically so something else and im Notfall bitte kontaktieren this is for it says in emergencies please contact so you could like write a name and a number for like if there's like any problems. So yeah. Then we have the Stundenplan, which is hours plan for school, of course. We have a little ticking clock on both sides, which is good. Then we have Moon Tag, which is Monday. Dean Star, which is Tuesday. Mittwoch, which is Wednesday. Donnerstag, which is Thursday. Freitag, which is Friday. Samstag, which is Saturday. Sonntag, which is Sunday. They did the Saturday and Sunday smaller because I don't believe that there is actually a school in German, a native German countries like first, yeah, that should be right. Native German countries that actually have school on Saturdays because I've not been on one definitely. And you have that two times, just in case if it changes, changes, oh three times. Oopsie, just in case if it changes. So they do different colors, so you won't get bored, which is good. Then we have meine Fächer, which is basically my subject. We have Fach, which is subject. Lehrer, then this thingy, this signy thing that is like. And then an in, which is either my teacher or my female teacher, because they have in German often. Like they just put an in. in if it's just female, so Lehrer, which is teacher, and Lehrerin, which is teacher female. 
there are many words like that. Then Raum, which means room, and the same thing on this side. Then we have meine Noten, which is my marks, so my grade. Again, Fach, which is subject. One, it says eins, halbjahr, which means erstes halbjahr, which means the first part of the semester, the first semester, basically, the first semester. And then we have Zeugnis. So basically, I'm not sure how it is, how it is in English native countries or others, uh, but we have after the first semester, we get a grade, which is called the Schulnachricht, which means like school message, basically, which is just our grades for the first semester. And then we have at the end the Zeugnis, which is the grades for the end of the school year, for the entire school year. So they call it sometimes like that. I don't know why. So we have, you could write, for example, for here math. And you get like maybe an exam or pluses or little tiny tests. You can write it all in here. And then you can write down what grade you got on your first part of the semester. Same thing, but it says, Zweites uh, halbjahr. Semester is also a word that sometimes we use. We usually more use semester. I use it. I am not sure even if it's in English. But <laughs> don't know. Um, so basically, that's it from this page. Then we have here, for example. It says Woche 35, which is week 35. Basically, it says every single week it says Woche, which is week, and then the number of the week of that year. Like 50 something weeks in a year, maybe. Then August, which is August, of course. It says 2019 here. 2019. Then we have again the date, and they write down the, the the number of the date as well. And then they write small little things like "Ich esse Schokolade nur an den Tagen, die mit G enden und mit uh, It is a. I'm just gonna translate it. I only eat chocolate on days that end with G and Wednesdays, <laughs> basically, because I know that in the English language, every day ends with a day, but in the German language, we have every day besides Wednesday ending with Tag, which is the word day. So it basically says I eat chocolate on every basis every day. It's like I eat chocolate on every day that ends with day. <laughs> it's basically that. One. So we have August and September, Thursday, Friday, and so. <laughs> and then we have here, for example, I saw that karma. <laughs> sometimes they write on English, sometimes they do on write on German. Uh, then we have here uh, either sad manifest or happy. It says du entscheidest, which means you decide. Then we have here du hast drei Möglichkeiten: aufgeben, nachgeben oder alles geben. This is like a little thing. Uh, you have three uh, possibilities: either give up, give in, or give it all. Okay, then it has a lot. We have Niemand mag Menschen, die morgens direkt das grelle Licht anmachen. Which means nobody likes humans that uh, turn on the really bright light in the morning. I'm trying to translate that. Don't do it by word because that is stupid. Got a star here. 
uh, wer schön sein will, muss lächeln. Which means, who wants to be pretty needs to smile. There is actually a saying in the German language, uh, which is called, wer schön sein will, muss leiden. Which means, like, uh, something like, who wants to be pretty needs to feel the pain. Feel the pain! We got a horseshoe, some hearts, and there are some things like, for example, Herbstanfang, which means the beginning of autumn. Beautiful, and that just goes on and on and on. I'm just gonna show you the different colors. This is the color of October. Then we have November. They did for every little, every month a different color. December, then January, which is in Austria. This is just in Austria, as far as I know. It's called Jena. So basically, it's called Jena, which is a little bit like if you say that in Germany, for example, they have no idea what you're talking about. So basically, they don't. Then we have February which is February, we got the color of March, maybe? Okay, let me go one page, one page further so you can see that easier. March, which is März. Then we got April, which is April. Um, I'm not sure if this is an English thing too, but on the first of April, you usually prank people and say, April, April, reingelegt. Which is like, April, 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 you fell for it, like something like that, or the prank. Then we have the really, I like this blue color from May. I think that's my favorite color in this. So that's May, which is Mai. Then we have Juni, which is June. We have... Juli, which is July. We just write it with an I instead of a Y. Then we have again August, September. My color is pretty too. And then we have one day of October. And then we have contact, which is my contact. So we have a little, um, you have a little human thingy. To writing the name, then the phone number, the email, and maybe the address. I'm not sure if their whole entire address fits on here, but oh well. And you have that for four pages. Then you have Geburtstag. Geburtstag means birthday. So you basically have all the months, which I'm gonna read out again for you, because I know some people want to learn German. Um, Sherry, <laughs> and I would just want to help. So basically, we have four pages of birthdays, two different colors. We have I don't know why here it says Januar, but on the other pages it says Jena. So Jena and Januar are ba both January. We have February, which is February. Mats, which is March. We have a dogu. We have a dogu, 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 The licking doggy. The licking doggy, which gets off his paw and realizes every leg, every leg. He's so funny. Okay, we have April, which is April. May, which is May, Juni, which is June, Juli, July, August, August, September, September, October, October, November, November, did you say B? No, there. December, December. Just for the people. We have instead of uh, C's, we have K's usually in words. 
like for in October, for example, and in December we don't have this with a C, we have it with a Z. Then we have this is a I don't even know why. You have presents, maybe because somebody's birthday is probably the pa two pages of presents just for birthdays. So we have the months again, and you have a little bit of space. So yeah, I have to buy this for that person or something like that. And then we have presents again, but this is Christmas edition. So by Nachten means Christmas. And then we have für double point, which is for da, da, da. So you could write what the present is and for who it is. And then we have things to do, of course. And we got little check boxes for every month. And of course, again, four pages long. And then we have notizen, which means notes. So no t sen. Not sure how you want that. Maybe you should do it slower. And now six pages of that. And then we have meine Listen, which is basically my different lists. And then we have a checkbook one. Then we have some with stars and then just simply some blankish ones with just lines and then a blank blank one. And we got four pages. Yeah, four pages of that. And then we have meine Ziele, which is my goals. Then um first page the uh, first thing is for that which is these like for example New Year's resolutions or I'm not sure how it's called. For that is basically those things that you want to do. Like for example lose weight in that year and blah blah blah. I don't know. So basically that is that. Then we have Vinche which is wishes. So maybe I want to get a car by the end of the year. And I wish I can do it, but I'm not sure if I can. So basically like that. Then we have Reiseziele, which is like traveling goals, which I want to go there. The Projekte, we have two of these, which is projects. And then we got a blank line where you can just do like extras or like maybe YouTube or something like that. Then we have Rezepte. This is not usually in a notebook, but you have a recept for like cooking. I'm not even sure how what that was in English. But it's like how to bake the cake you want to bake or something like that. Recept? Recept? No, probably not. I don't know. We got four pages of that, I think. Five pages. And then we got some stickers. So we got different shapes for the different colors probably to match them not sure if I'm going to be using most of them and we have Einfach Nein which is basically uh, translated to simply no Juhu is like woohoo but we do it German <laughs> we do it on German uh, be happy of course girl power uh, lächeln und winken which is just smile and wave. Then hurra, which is hooray. They were just lazy for the Y. And then we got some presents, stars, hearts, exclamation marks, question marks, and check check marks. Yeah. So that's a geschenk. Presents are geschenke. Then we have we have a stern, which is a star. Herz, which is a heart, Rufzeichen, which is an exclamation mark, uh, Fragezeichen, which is a question mark. I'm not sure if that even has a German word to it. Uh, check mark. We just say to check mark something like to do it like I I don't know I don't remember <laughs> so okay then we have some errors some suitcases a phone a light bulb 
an email sign and some water I guess I will assume maybe it says like drink drink more I drink that much uh, so an error is a file a suitcase is a coffer a phone is basically a handy yeah basically usually it's handy smartphone sometimes um, is there anything? Telephone is also sometimes a light bulb is like a glue burner, so it's basically a glowing pair. Yeah, yeah. So uh, the at sign is basically email station. Maybe I don't know. We're just. I think we also say just simply at sign and uh, a glass of water maybe. Is a glass wasser. You don't say from water or of water, you just say glass water or a glass water. Ein glass wasser. For example, you could say, like, can I have a glass of water, please? Is, uh, könnte ich bitte ein glass wasser haben? Or bekommen it is basically am I uh, is it possible to get a glass? Yeah, sometimes you can just translate it like that. So stickers to do, yeah, bull is like those Esther <laughs> thingies. Be happy. We have four stickers of these. I think that's so funny. It's called Mache ich morgen. Uh, it's like I do it tomorrow. <laughs> Uh, nicht vergessen is don't forget shopping time again yeah we will be happy uh, again einfach nein which is simply no choose happiness vielleicht which means maybe nö which is a no okay question mark exclamation mark again nope yep it, this is also one of the words I use a lot nope go power be happy, hip hip hurrah, which is hip hip hooray, <laughs> basically. Nope, machen is, actually, machen is make, but make, it's also do, so it's basically the same thing. Was to, uh, make time is like, wir Zeit machen, um, or, but you could also say, uh, I will do it tomorrow, for example, like the sticker. Ich werde es mo morgen machen. Um, then we have again, be happy and don't forget. And then we have some candles which say in the different countries of Austria, what times of school, uh, like the holidays in school of 2019-20 school year and 2021. Then we have a general overview. I'm not sure if you can even see that. General overview of the year 2019. General overview of the year 2020. And general overview of the year 2021. And then we got some of these uh, bookmarks, which we have the best Zeit is yet, which is basically the best time is now. Lebe, live, liebe, love, lache, laugh. I think in English it's live, love, laugh. Um, no, 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 no. Is it? Live, love, I think it's live, laugh, love, something like that, or love, laugh, live, laugh, love, I don't know, I don't remember, be beautiful, and glücklich steht dir gut, which means uh, happy suits you well, basically, and we got a little pocket here as well, which is good, you see?
And then it says it was made in Germany on the back. So basically, that was it for this. Because I'm not going to read out all the calendar ones. Because that will be like, you got to get it yourself. Or you got me to get it for you, maybe. And basically, the same thing is in the grey one. And in the pink one. I just had to get all of them because I could not decide. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this life. I will probably do quite a bit today because I'm kind of like hyper and such. But I hope that you enjoyed the first day of translating a German book on English. I thought if I do a notebook first, it would be like easier to translate it for me, for you. Um, and I wouldn't have to write everything down because I just like to improvise. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. If there are words that you want me to spell, uh, that you want to like spelled out, I might do another video and write it down on a piece of paper for you guys uh, so you could see it better. And I will get on to crafting today. I hope you guys have an amazing day full of crafting and being lazy and just doing crafting and nothing else. <laughs> and I will see you in the next live. Bye!